I'm taking a look at my first pieces from New York artist Dragon76 and also something purchased from The Vault Queen. It is the Red Alert Dragon76 Oros Boros created by Martian Toys. So let's go ahead and take a look. Vault Queen did a fine job of packaging this. The box it came in was a bit busted up, but as you can see, the bubble wrap job protected it quite nicely. As with most of the Martian Toys stuff, it's in a bit of a generic box. And the reason I say that is that the first uh, Dragon 76 figures, the Oros Boros design on the front, that uh, Dragon 76 had created were white and black. And then with this release, there was the Red Alert Red, and then also a black chrome, but they all use the same box. More importantly, we want to get it out of the box. There were 150 of these Red Alert, Red Alert figures created. It is a cool box design. Dragon76 had done a bunch of paintings of this character and it looks like this is inspired by that. So let's finally get him out of the box. Martian Toys has really stepped up their game with details on figures as well. And everybody's kind of falling into this action figure space right now. Two pieces right there on the, the package itself. And there is our red alert figure. And you can see on the back is where all the accessories are that can go in the arms. Right on. There we have him. My first of the DR-76 slash Oros Boros figures. Oro Boros figures. I keep adding an extra S in there, but of course the shirt gives it away. Very cool mech style design. Would you call this bullet punk? Would that be the right category for it? It definitely has that vibe, but less guns and more paint action. It's kind of the vibe to it. I like the loose fitting shorts as well. There we go, Ouroboros by Dragon76, it says right there on the belt. Boom, so that clarifies it. And there's the dragon eating its own tail from the Egyptian lore. Would that be accurate? There's caution labels on the arms, cool fitting helmet, and looking at the bottoms of the feet right there, you can see the stampings. Cool signature to go alongside the Merchant Toys logo. Now let's look at those accessories. See right there how they're packaged. You have the one clean roller, spray can, and then a dirty roller in its own little bag. And the dirty roller has the drippings, so that's the one I want to see them hold. You know what, they're both dirty rollers. So you can put one in each hand if you want, it seems. Yeah, so I guess I don't know exactly why there are two of them. It is a soft vinyl, so it has a little compression going on. And if we just wedge that right in there, that will get us the spray can in that hand. And then if we take the paintbrush right there, you can see the paint dripping off on that one. And that is it, that is the Red Alert Ouroboros from Dragon76, DR76 right there in the helmet. Let's go ahead and give it a spin. Thanks for watching.